It's Travis and Aaron from Our Lively Tribe. And we are sitting <laughs> in flip number five. Flip number five. We just I just completed it yesterday. Yep. Pretty crazy. It is. The owners are coming today to pick it up. Yep. Miles and Andrea. Andrea. Yep. And um, we're super excited to to give them the keys to this one. So. Yeah. So they're actually moving into it today. They. Which is crazy, yeah. They <laughs> they were renting a place and uh, and they're moving straight into this to start full timing it today. That's so awesome. It's been so pretty wild. What year is this? Do you know? I don't know. Go get the paperwork. Crap. I don't even know where the paperwork is. <laughs> you gotta know what you're flipping. <laughs> All right, back at it. So we're sitting in a 1998 Four Winds Chateau Sport. Built by Thor. Built by Thor. I knew that. The motorhome, it's a Class C, um, and it's my, f it's the first motorhome that we've done. And that was, that was different. I was surprised. Um, mostly just the wiring. There were so many more wires that ran through this than a regular trailer. Yeah. So, th so that was something that really caught me off guard when I started taking it apart. You know, uh, so, so that, that was, that was probably one of the biggest challenge or not challenge but just something that was different than than the regular trailers and since they're moving into it they had really specific needs for what they wanted um there were bunks in the back they didn't need bunks it's just the two of them their kids mm -hmm. are grown and moved out um they wanted a lot more counter space because she likes to cook so yeah. travis uh did some work there and really customized it to make it livable full-time for what they needed and that's what's been so cool now when we started doing the renovations, we had ideally were hoping to just buy a trailer, flip it, and sell it. And people started asking if we'd be willing to flip trailers they already own. And at first we were a little, oh, did he just poop? He just oh, blew, he just blew, it, blew it, up. it up, man. It's going to stink. Plug your nose. Oh, there's someone getting in here. Okay. But, um, and that was something we were a little hesitant of. But it's turned out to be really cool to be able to give people what they really want in their own trailer. Right. So that's been super fun and challenging. Yeah, it was neat. They were able, like, they sent over an oven and a stove that they wanted new. They sent over a toilet that they ordered that they wanted installed. And so um, they were really specific on their needs and what they needed. Yeah. Um, and so that's awesome. There's... Um, the shower hasn't been redone. That's something that they're going to do. Um, the lighting fixtures weren't added. That's something. Oh, he's filling it up. That's something <laughs> they also wanted to do. Um, but other than that, I mean, it was pretty much a full flip. Oh, yeah, so cool. they'll be here in a few hours. Um, we're going to finish up the tour for you guys. No, go. And, um... Yeah, go play with Ari. <laughs> so we're gonna finish up the tour and um, hand over the keys this afternoon, and we'll uh, we'll share at the end their uh, their reaction. Right? Sounds good. Here, not it. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we're standing outside the RV we just finished, so now we're going to go in and uh, give you a tour. We are standing in the, the rear of the trailer, and when they brought it to me, they pretty much gutted a lot of it, but what this trailer only offered was two, two uh, twin-sized bunks, and then on the other side it had a, a second dinette area, so it had two benches and a table. Um, there was no full-size bed in this trailer at all except for the one that's above the uh, driver's seat. They wanted me to completely gut out the back end and build what would be a queen size bed living area for them. So we did that, I took everything out, I built them a bed, added storage underneath for them, added these two big uh, dresser drawers for plenty of space because they are going to be living in this trailer full time. 
The safety latches are so when they're driving they don't come sliding out. You know, so we, we just add the baby ones for, for baby drawers, so they seem to work just fine. Um, I also added this entire uh, closet area. Um, so I added quite a few drawer space and, and a large area for them to hang their clothes. So none of this existed before. So now they have a lot more room than what they did have. So we switched out the sink and the faucet and the counter. Um, painted everything white with the blue below. And they wanted a, a newer toilet. So we switched out with a porcelain toilet. So that's what we did in the bathroom. They're going to be adding a mirror. They had a mirror that they wanted to add to it. So they'll be adding those finishing touches inside of here. So now we're moving into the, we're already into the kitchen. Can you believe how fast that was? Um, one thing they didn't want, they didn't need a microwave. She doesn't use them to cook, so we eliminated the microwave and I just added a drawer. So now that's a complete open cabinet. Which that's gives not a drawer, that's a cabinet. Or a cabinet. It's a, it's a cabinet now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so that's a, that's a ton of extra storage space that they wouldn't have had having the microwave there. Um, we added a new vent and a new stove. They, they ordered these, they wanted new ones. So we replaced those, placed the countertop, um, put in a nice deep stainless steel sink. I don't even know how many times bigger than the one that was in here, but it's, it's a lot bigger than what they did have. Um, so we painted, painted everything blue and white and these are colors that they picked out that's what's been great renovating for people they're able to to decide exactly what they want to go into their to their new home so that's been pretty cool all right so then we're going into what would be like the living room area um so before there was uh two benches and a dinette this is where the main dinette was one of uh their biggest requests was more counter space this, this trailer really offers a super limited amount with what it came with. Um, and she's a huge cooker, so she wanted as much counter space as we could. So with that idea, I came up with what's, what's now is like a desk slash eating area. So we I added a table they would come out so that they would still be able to face each other while they're eating. Um, they don't know that we did this, so I'm excited for them to see this. Um, so that'll just slide in there. And I added two large drawers. She, she wanted a large, a really large drawer um, for some of her appliances that she has. So I built a really heavy duty strong door for those things. And then they both have their own working space. Um, I believe they hope to start working through the internet. So they both have, you know, their own desks essentially. This is probably one of my favorite piece that, that I built in here. Um, she really wanted a big heavy duty bookshelf for her cooking books that she uses. So this was an existing cabinet. Um, we, I took that cabinet out and rebuilt this one and added this metal bar so that everything will be able to stay in there very safe. It's also hiding a lot of the wires that were running through this, this trailer. So this piece turned out really cool and I'm really happy with it. Uh, I'll move on to what was their couch before, but um, we built this one to fit a kid's mattress from Ikea. It's a perfect foam $50 mattress. The measurements are to fit that um, with some storage underneath. It's pretty limited because the outside, this is another thing that differs between trailers. Um, the outside storage actually comes into the motorhome. So there is a little bit of storage, but it's more limited than what you would actually think would be under there. So to so replace the couch and place all the floorings, we use the vinyl peel and stick flooring from Lowe's um, and I use an adhesive spray to keep it down a lot stronger. But I like using these flooring uh, so when it gets scratched because they are going to get scratched living in a trailer, it just happens you're able to peel one up and replace it really easy as opposed to trying to, to take the clicks apart and all the madness that comes with that. So, so yeah, there it is. Oh, wow. Wow. It's so different. Dang. Doesn't it even look like the same?
same RV. Not even close. Wow. I know. That is so cool. <laughs> it just feels. It's a home. It feels bigger. Yep. The white man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Good. This feels bigger back here. Yep. Lots of so, the baby latches. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. We're used to those. We have nothing but them. Yeah. Home. Yeah, with five grandkids. 